dude, what's the matter? You know, I think I just made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> There's only one thing that we love more than eating food with chopsticks, and that's photography. Well, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Chopstick Guy Show, where we bring the fun to photography. Hey, you know what? It might be the second biggest mistake I've ever made in <laughs> my life. What's that? Is having hot ramen on a oh. day when it's supposed to be 105. Help me! Oh, help me! If and today. I think right now it feels like it's 105 in the studio. It's sweating. But hot ramen on 105 degree day well, is, is not, uh, not where you want to be. Hey, but before we jump into things, I just want to take this moment as Mark is stuffing his face mm. to invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. The reason why we ask you to do that is because it helps the YouTube algorithm to actually figure out that this is a worthwhile video to share with others. So if you don't mind liking this video, and then if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we will be in action. All right. All right, what do we got today? Well, you know, it, it was a little bit misleading. I, I don't think it was the biggest mistake in my life, but the question <laughs> is, you know, we all know that if you've been following our channel that, what, a few, five, six months ago, I finally upgraded to a D850. Has it been that long already? I want to say it's been, yeah, it, it was before we left to India. So okay, yeah. it's been eight months right. that I've had this camera. Wow. And, uh, so is it the biggest mistake you're no, life? No, not at all, not at all. And why, why This is the camera that? that works for me. And why, why I think we were phrasing it that way is, isn't it every day when you turn the internet on and you look at social media, there's somebody telling you, your camera sucks because somebody else came out with a new camera oh, that's better. Every day, like every what, day. what just happened? So Sony just introduced a new camera, right? Another new camera, another new camera, another new camera. Correct. And all the Sony people are like, wah, wah. Oh no, I have to upgrade, I have to upgrade. Yeah, hey, but we do the same thing. We do. Yeah, we all do. of us, we all have that fear of like, oh no, our, our camera gear is inadequate. So today, the big question is, is that do you need to upgrade your gear every time the manufacturer that you follow comes out with a new camera? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> is what the camera manufacturer <laughs> Is what they want. But you know, I don't know, do you? No, and here's why. You know, you and I had this long conversation uh, last week about the fact that long conversation. long conversation, I think it was over two hours actually. <laughs> didn't the gear? I mean, we can just say it as like general for all gear, like doesn't make you a better photographer. But the reality is, yes, buying a new camera does not make you a better photographer. I upgraded to you know, let's just for you know, argument's sake, call it a 50 megapixel camera, right? It's like 48, 46, point, I what, think, 46. Yeah. so uh. 45 megapixel camera, thinking that if I went from my 24 megapixel camera to a 46. You were gonna be, oh, oh my goodness. everything's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I found out? Anything that you do wrong is magnified because now you have twice the resolution. You actually became a worse photographer. <laughs> I really, no, but there is that mindset that says, if I get a new camera body, my pictures are gonna be as good as everybody else's. You are not gonna become a better photographer because you bought a better camera. No, I think it's the opposite, but you know, I. New technology is better though. It is. It is better. But something that's interesting here is, so I've got my D700, right? This thing I bought, I don't know, it's, it's 11 years old I think now, maybe yeah. not quite that old, but, but it's old, right? And what we were talking about the other day, like I started shooting some pictures with this and I was blown away with the quality. It's, it's like it's a very special camera. It's yeah. one of those from Nikon that's You and incredible. I both said, you said, some of my favorite pictures, if not my most favorite portrait I've ever taken, was this was with my D seven hundred. I remember when you bought that. I was still shooting a D three hundred at yep. the time, and super jealous of. Wow, you, you were showing me things on the back of the camera where the person filled the whole frame. You could zoom into their face, and it's like, oh so, my goodness. It's, so it's, here's what's amazing: this camera, the D seven hundred, twelve point one megapixels. Twelve point one. Yeah. Nowadays, people laugh at that. I mean. A, what did we just hear? Samsung is coming out with a 108 megapixel cell phone. Yeah. Like <laughs> 12 megapixels, yeah. but it's incredible. Yours is 46 point something, right? So, I mean, it's, it's 12, 24, 36, 48, four times as many megapixels. Correct. Four but you know what it, what it means? It means that I can now blow a picture up bigger, or I can crop more into the image. Doesn't necessarily mean- You can be lazier. Mean, yes, right? yes. So, is it better? Yes, it is tremendously better, but does it make me a better photographer? Well, let's, let's no. actually see. Let's see if this makes you better. Put the, put the ramen okay. down. Not gonna eat let's the ramen. Let's actually go out to lunch, okay. okay? Let's take a 700, 
You take your 850. Okay. I got an idea. We'll both put, we both have the Tamron 24 to 70s. Okay. Let's put those on. Matching Same. lenses. Let's apple match settings. Apples. Let's go out to lunch to our favorite sushi place. Yeah. And let's take some shots of lunch. Maybe we can get one of the sushi chefs. Sushi. Sushi chefs. Yes. <laughs> to uh, allow us to take some portraits of them. Let's try that. And, and let's, maybe it won't be as hot there as it is in the studio. Let's come back. Yes. As you can tell, I'm sweating <laughs> like a dog. Let's come back to the studio. Let's show some of the pictures we took. Okay. And let's compare. And let's, let's see just, if they're better. Let's see if it's it a new makes camera. us a better photographer. Let's, uh, let's, do that. let's just uh, stuff it all into Ooh. the photo walk. And let's take a photo let's walk. Let's take a photo walk. We'll be right back. I think uh, everything rolls? Yeah, everything rolls. All right, so we each want an everything roll. Two everything rolls. Right. Yeah, sure. So we, we got our cameras here, yeah. right? So I've got my D700. And like you suggested, we've got our 24 to 70. That's right, same. It's the exact the same lens. D850. We got D850. We're going to try to set our cameras identical and try to take the same picture. Yeah. And we'll see if, if buying a new camera makes you a better photographer. Okay, we'll find out today. Let's do it. So, hey, Mark, you know how we love doing portraits, Of course, right? yeah. So let's just actually, I love what's going on with this kind of rope type yeah. thing here. Let's uh, see if we can get a portrait going. You step in there, let's okay. see what you got. So I'm still at 2.8. I'm at uh, ISO 800 still and 200 shutter speed. And we'll take one more. Yeah, the hard thing is I never know exactly, like, where to start in these no. rolls because like it is do I start on the end? The end is always the thickest part. If you start in the middle, where it's like a little easier to contain. Now these rolls are like a four bite each roll. Oh, yeah, you, there's no way you eat it in a bite. So, so I always gotta have my napkin ready too because I get out of control <laughs> with uh, with what's going on. I think I'm starting right in the center. This is probably not the best choice. No, but I'm gonna start on an end. Are you? I am because you got to rotate the plate just to the right spot there. So it's it's trickier than normal chopsticks because you have to kind of balance it delicately. So I went right in the center. Wow, that's good. Like we, we know sushi pretty well. We eat uh -huh. a lot of it. It's the quality of fish that Sunny brings in here. It is. Remember one of the first times that I brought you here? He was talking about like going to the fish market and getting the fish and just how that's so important to him. And you know, I will say, I just, my wife and I went last week to sushi somewhere. And one of the things that we talked about was the rice. And that was one of the first things Sonny had said too, is he's like, I train my guys, like, as they're working, keep the rice covered. Mm -hmm. And they cover it with a wet towel, keep the moisture in. It's like, you know, just, I buy good fish. But he goes, anybody can really go and buy good fish. Right. But you make good rice. Makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. So you know, I think a lot of people that might be watching this might be going, guys, is this a photography show? Awesome, thank you. Or is this actually a sushi show? Well, today. It's a little more fun. Yeah, more sushi. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. So you know one thing I've noticed about my camera? Like when we're just messing around here, I haven't shot with this thing in a long time. I mean, I pulled it out the other day, but really it's been a long time. Is how noisy it is. Like it's like, Click, click. I mean, when you fire this thing off, listen. Wow, let me see if Listen to that shutter. Oh yeah, huge difference in sound. I mean, it is literally like a, a cannon, you know, like, <laughs> like, you know, it's just noisy. And I remember shooting weddings with this thing. I love the files that come out of it, but I remember everybody was always turning around like, what in the world is What that? is going on? <laughs> what is that noise? It's just me, the photographer, clicking away, but yeah. 
it's really loud. So that's one thing. And your silent mode, does that have like a complete silent mode? It has a complete silent mode, it does. You know, and it's, mine, mine has a quiet mode. Quiet just means slower. It's like <laughs> click, 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 click. click. So I think here's what we're getting down to is, the real question is not, is the camera better? Because hands down, every new camera that comes out is better than the camera mm -hmm. before. Because we get new little whiz-bang features for them that helps us do our job better, faster. The question is, really, is getting a new camera going to make you a better photographer? Well, you can answer that question. Because you just, you got the new camera. Yeah, you know, we really didn't talk a lot about, like, why we kind of joked about, oh, was it a big mistake? It was not a big mistake. Uh, I use it for work. And the type of photography we do, it's the right tool for the job. But, no, it, it almost made me a worse photographer for a while. When you got it, you were frustrated. I remember, like, I can't take a good picture. Mm -hmm. Because with 46 megapixels, and then, you know, you got Sony coming out with 61, and rumors of a 100 megapixel Canon. Like, you have to have discipline in holding your camera. Correct. Every, every movement you make is a mistake. Yeah, I kept going, is something wrong with my lenses? It's not sharp. But then I'd put it on a tripod and I'd shoot something and go, it's laser sharp. And it all got down to, yeah, I just was not, you know, worrying about that. Yep. Yeah, so here's the other thing is that it doesn't, my pictures don't look different. Until you zoom. Until you zoom in. Crop and zoom. Correct. But that's just all about the file remains clean. But the aesthetics of it, it doesn't change. Everybody makes this, this you know, plea today of I've heard a number of people, which I have a Sony camera. I think Sony, is, they're the top dog right now mm -hmm. in the full frame market. But I hear people say things like, oh, you, you got to be shooting a Sony to get this. No, you don't. Couldn't have done it without a Sony. Couldn't have done it without a Sony, yeah. But you can do it with any camera nowadays. You know, Ansel Adams became a very wealthy man. He never shot with Sony. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is true. I mean, you, you don't need it. Like, a skilled photographer can use any device. And the, the, the mobile phone market is proof of that. Oh, yeah. Right? You can... You can so we're just taking pictures of food. I'm a terrible food photographer. Are you a good food photographer? No. And I see people just on their cell phone like take amazing pictures of food because they're skilled at doing that. Correct. Right? I do the same picture with my iPhone. Doesn't look as good. Doesn't look as good. Mm -mm. So it comes down to that. It doesn't matter the equipment to a point. Correct. But better equipment is better. But does it make you a better photographer. No. No. Oh. That's a lot of food. That was a big roll today. Yeah, that hit all of my sushi buttons. <laughs> it was incredible. Thank you, Sonny, from Umi Sushi in Roseville, California. Yeah, what a that great meal. That was a meal. All right, so the reason we wanted to do this was, right, we were seeing is, not is, is it better, but... Will buying or upgrading to a new camera make you a better photographer? And I think we just went through the pictures that we shot yeah. at UMI. And, you know, for this uh, raw session, we basically just want to take a look at these pictures. We, we pulled out basically four that kind of told the story of lunch. Yeah. And uh, let's see what you think. All right. So we, we kind of approach this like we would doing some sort of an editorial job that mm -hmm. we would do. And that is we wanted to tell a story with our pictures. So we decided let's get pictures of the product, yep. getting it put together. Let's get the finished product. And then let's get portraits of the people who actually did the work. So yeah. you're going to see four images from each of us that are, we shot at the same time and close to the same settings. Mm -hmm. And we'll explain that. But our first one is the picture of the, oh, the fish. fish fish itself. In fact, so, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit. I don't know if they can see the okay. picture right behind. All right, our so this here. this is my shot right out of here. This is out of the D850. Yeah. And again, this this is why we always tell people when they go, "What's your settings?" And we go, "It doesn't matter what my settings are because you're not shooting the same camera." Um, but we did have the settings the same. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just bring up my shot here. Okay. Okay. Um, when you look at it. In fact, if you bounce back and forth between the two, 
yeah, let's bring them both right up on screen, fill the screen with it. And you can see, I don't believe there's any difference. I don't see a difference. The, the, the exposure is slightly different. Yeah, because they're different cameras. They're different cameras. Different they're... sensors. But here, here's the amazing part is we zoom in on these things really close now, and you'll see there's no noise no. on either camera. That camera, this is like a 10-year-old camera. And now, I have to say, the D700 was known for yeah. pushing the limits. I think the words like, you always say is, it's a low-light beast. It is. It's, it's pretty magical. Yeah. But here's the interesting thing, is that we're 10 years later, this is really not better. And again, we're not comparing cameras. We're comparing, does it make you a better photographer? Yes. But there's certain tools that do make you a better photographer. Yep. But with that said, something like this, just in this first picture, it's kind of proof positive that I could give somebody this camera today a journalist, somebody that's that's paid money to take pictures, they could make a living with a D700. That's right. I would have to agree. Let's go to the next shot. Okay, next shot. So this is them assembling. This yep. is the sushi chef behind the counter. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm looking at yours, looking at it up there too. It's like, uh, I don't yeah, know. <laughs> look at the two of them side by side. So I'm looking at highlights, okay? There's a window on both of ours. That's blown out. Obviously, it's going to blow out. Yep. This was manual, manual setting, and we had them set exactly the same again. Yep. Very clean file, both of them. I cannot, at this view, I cannot see a difference between I, I, the two. I couldn't, only because I know how my 700 exposes, and I know how an 800 series exposes. 800 exposes a little darker always than this one. Yes. That would be the only way that I personally could tell the, which camera this came out of, just yep. looking at the picture, because I know that personally. If, if I took these files and I said to our friend John, John, pick out which camera this came from. Couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. I know he couldn't do it. It would just be a guess. And he might even say the 700 was the 850 because it's a little brighter. Yeah. Which makes it just like, Ooh. Seems to be, yeah, has a little, little more, more life, right? Feel. But that's nothing that, and the, these pictures, by the way, this is straight out of camera. We did nothing to them. Nothing. Brought them into Lightroom. Mark brought us in the bridge. Nothing. That's all we did is brought him in. So you're looking at what came right out of the camera. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Again, I, I would say if we switched cameras, they, it would not change anything no. in these images. So. All right. So we're moving to the next part of our process, which oh, is the finished which product. Was what we ate for lunch. <laughs> and this picture doesn't show it. I mean, you saw the video, but that thing's that big around. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's a three to four bite slice roll. Oh, so this so picture is interesting because it's a different perspective because of where we were sitting. Uh -huh. But again, I can't tell, like they're both good in interesting ways. They're both interesting pictures. I don't say one is better than the other, but I, yeah, we, that doesn't make you a better photographer. It doesn't make you better. No. If I, if you told me they came out of the identical camera, I believe you. Yep. Like it, there's just nothing different. We zoomed in on the rice. It, it's closer than any rice you want to see cooked. Yeah. It looks suddenly like doesn't. It does not, not look not good pretty. when you zoom in to rice that close. But uh, I'm not kidding. So far, I'm not seeing anything that says, "Wow, you're okay, gonna let, have an advantage." Let's see what happens on the final okay. image, which was a portrait we took of of uh, the sushi chef. Again, and this is something I loved about the eight, the seven hundred. <laughs> Was just I like the skin tones. It just works well. Yours looks great too. I, I couldn't tell. We shot them in different different positions, right? Bit. Portrait versus uh -huh. landscape. But when I'm looking at this thing, that's not better. No, this isn't better. No, I could see either one of these in a magazine article about the sushi chef. So here, here's a point where we did, which you probably saw in the video. When I said, oh, I'm going to take a shot straight down, right? Yeah. And I was able to use... What, what did I do? I'm like standing on my tippy toes, yep. look, trying to you know, see what it looks like through the viewfinder. This has no live view or anything. That's right. Where I can go to the articulating screen, I can look You're at like, it. You're oh, like, watch me. Yeah. You know? Which all of you that are shooting mirrorless, I know are all going, yeah, but I do that every... Yeah. So that would make you a better photographer because you can do something physically easier. It's right? a better... It doesn't make you a better photographer. It just gives you a better tool. Okay, and I think a, that's, that's what we're trying to get to is the fact that you're just a good tool. <laughs> these are better tools that we have today. You know, a carpenter today with pneumatic with nail guns that are gas powered versus a hammer versus a hammer. 
They're not, we don't have better craftsmen. We just have guys that can get it done faster in, fact, in a the, the different way. The dude with the hammer way. is probably a lot stronger, but yeah. you know, that's so, a whole other story. Yeah, so we have better tools, but they will not make you a better photographer. If you're sitting out there today going, I have to have that, you know, the brand new Sony's coming out with the Sony a7 Mark IV, Four. and you're going, oh, I've got to get the 461. That's going to make me the best photographer in my town. No, it's not. No. If you're a Nikon guy like we are, you're going to go, I need the 850, or they've been talking about that Z8 that's yeah. coming. Oh, I need that. It's not going to make me better. No. You know, is it the 5, the EOS R? The replacement that's going to be coming out soon for that. That they're saying is 100 megapixels. No. No. It's not going to make you better. It's, it's not. going to make you poorer. And, I think that's and we're like, not saying don't buy it. No. If You know what? Here's the thing. If you have the resources, you have the desire, go ahead. That's what's keeping the camera companies in business. That's right. But you don't need to do it. And you don't feel like... If I was out shooting today, right, I... I we were out there, I'm like, hey, this doesn't say D700 anywhere. I've forgotten that this used to be my, my travel camera. That's why it's so beat up. Yep. I covered over all the labels before. But, you know, I should not feel bad about shooting with a D700. In fact, one of our, our Interfit uh, pros, one of our associates, yep. shoots with a D700. Yeah, there's no reason. And he's a sponsored photographer. Exactly. Right? So And a fantastic one at yes. that. I mean. He's a great food photographer, Ugh. Ray. Yep. But, you know, I, you, don't, you don't need it. No. Just don't. And I, I often get that bug of, I need to get it. Like when you got your 850, even though I have an 810, yeah. I was jealous, right? It's like, Mark's got a better camera than me now. Yeah. And those were all the years I'm looking at your files going, man, that 810, those files. And it was always about, you were able to crop in. Mm -hmm. And that is the advantage, you know? I, I now can crop way in where I couldn't. That's what you can't do with the 700. Yep. You can still crop in, but man, I can crop in. I have to be much more selective. You do. So... I, it's again, I just can't emphasize much. It's just a better tool. I'm the same photographer. Yep. So, all that to say is no, nope. better equipment does not make you a better photographer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, here was the first question, right? We started the show saying, Did you make the biggest mistake of your yes. life? So, did you by buying an 850? 100%. Absolutely not. No, I needed a new camera. Yeah, to, to, Help your ego, That's right? right. Yes, I <laughs> need something better than I you. I need it better than you. <laughs> and I just knew I had to have it. But you know, it's funny that I say it that way, but there is a lot of us that we don't want to admit it. That is one of the main reasons it is. I needed a new camera because you, you I hated walking into the room as a pro and them go, oh, what are you shooting? And Steve's going, I have an 810 and I have a 610. Uh, and I'm trying to like hide the fact yeah. that, you know. It's an ego thing. It really is. And, uh, you know, we teach workshops and people are going, what are you shooting? Isn't that an older camera? Well, we even have people show up at our workshops that have literally boatloads of equipment and the best of everything, everything, right? And so, you know, when, and even my A10 is getting a little long in the tooth, right? Just, it's well used. Yep. Put 50,000 exposures on in the last month and a half. But, you know, the thing is that you feel like, oh, I should have been able to get an 850. I should have a Z7, a Z6 yes. to go along with that and all that stuff. But you know what? But... No, and I didn't get it to make myself a better photographer. I needed a better tool. I needed to replace the tool that I had. I wore that thing down so, to a nub. So <laughs> since we're talking about egos, right? Like, I even feel like on, if I'm being completely 100% honest with you guys, which we try to be 100% honest with you, I need to get better using my 810 before I yeah. get anything new. I'm still, I've, I've been using that thing, and, you know, I, I know it. It's all muscle memory to run the whole thing, but I still need to perf That's right. to define my style with yeah. it. We know that our next camera bodies are going to be mirrorless. They will, and because that's the way the and direction. We both shoot mirrorless going. bodies, also, right? We do. But you know, I think I think in the next three years, five years, we will be a hundred percent mirrorless studio. Correct. That's all we'll be using. But until that time, I, I told you like three weeks ago. I said my eight ten. I'm so in love with it still. That I'm not getting rid of it no. until it falls off a cliff. Oh, yep. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, so anyways, yeah. hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hey, 
like always, if you like the show, like and subscribe, please, because again, it just helps us uh, know that you're watching and it's something you want to keep seeing. It helps the algorithm let other people find it. Absolutely. And uh, hey, share us out. Let people know about us and leave a comment down below. We love hearing comments. We do, from and you. we answer every comment. Even if you have to write and go, oh, you know what? I don't like this about your show. We love that too. I because don't like the guy on the left or the right, right, whichever direction you're looking. But wait a minute. <laughs> And when you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell. When you hit that bell, it actually is supposed to notify you every time. But that we upload sometimes something it works, new. sometimes it doesn't. But go ahead and hit it anyways just for kicks and giggles. And until next time. Yeah. Hey, don't forget. Don't forget. Say, say sushi. sushi.